By this point, for most of you, the different yield max option income ETFs have most likely came across your radar. Now, this is especially true if you consider yourself more of a dividend or income focused investor, and especially if you invest in more of the high yield stuff. Now, this is, of course, because some of these different yield max ETFs offer insane distribution rates, like take TSLY or Tesla, for example, offering over a 52% distribution rate, which is higher than most other stocks or ETFs across the entire stock market. Now, with all the popularity of these different yield max ETFs, there's also been a lot of hate that's came across different YouTube channels and, of course, through Twitter and Reddit. And in some circumstances, maybe for good reason, a lot of different investors are concerned about the fact that a lot of these different yield max option cover call ETFs tend to lose most of their value over time, even if they do distribute a massive dividend along the way. Now, on top of that, there's also tons of other investors that say, if you want to invest in something like TSLY, the yield max option income ETF, you'd be better off just buying into shares of Tesla, which is the underlying stock that Tesla sells cover calls on synthetically. Because the year-to-date performance of Tesla is 127 plus percent, and that's of course not even including a dividend. Now, through all this hype, I myself purchased around 100 or 150 shares of TSLY and even a few shares of APLY and some of the other yield max income strategy ETFs. But I made it very clear from the start that I had no intention on going big on any of these ETFs, considering the strategy for my more low beta, more conservative investment strategy just doesn't really match, but I still bit the bullet and grabbed some shares. Now, in this video, I want to explain exactly why I don't think it's safe to necessarily invest into something like TSLY, the yield max Tesla option income ETF, unless, that's of course, unless you use the strategy that we're going to go over in this video. Now, if this interests you at all, make sure to please drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content like this. Now, just a quick little background, the TSLY ETF, the Yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy, is an ETF that buys covered calls on Tesla stock. And through synthetic options and actively managed trading strategy, this ETF seeks to earn a ton of income on a monthly basis for their investors. And since the TSLY's inception, it's actually done so. Certain months offering a $1 per share per month dividend. The most recent one though, 58 cents per share, which still isn't all that bad. Now, like I said earlier, I purchased TSLY a little while back now, and you're probably wondering how I'm doing on the position so far. Well, I'm happy to announce that I did receive the last dividend with my 100 shares. I received $58 in dividends, which I was super excited about, considering this ETF is honestly so cheap. Now, I purchased my 100 shares of TSLY at around $14.20 per share. So you might be saying, well, you're down on your shares around $50 or so. But the truth is that I'm not because I sold a covered call option. At the moment that I bought the shares of TSLY at $14, I sold an in the money $12 covered call for around $2.30 or in option terms around $230. So what's cool about these different covered call ETFs that utilize options to earn investors tons of income on a consistent basis monthly is that believe it or not, you can actually trade options on the ETF that trades options. I know it's inception, right? So this, for example, right here is TSLY, and we're looking at selling a cover call, for example. If we go to May 17th, 2024, which is around 232 days out, we could then sell an in-the-money cover call as of right now, and again, these numbers can change on an ongoing basis. This is just what's offered right now here in the Robinhood app. But right now, we could sell an in-the-money cover call, a $12 strike price, for around $150 in premium, more or less. So if you were to buy 100 shares of TSLY right now for $13.50 per share, that means that your cost basis, of course, would be $13.50 per share. But the crazy thing is, is that, for example, if you were to then go ahead and sell a $12 covered call on your TSLY shares and earn $1.50 in premium, or of course, in option terms, you're always talking in lots of 100, you could earn $150 in premium, which would then, in theory, lower your cost basis to what? $13.50 minus $1.50, which means your true cost basis now for TSLY is truly $12 per share. And this is all well, TSLY is currently at $13.50 per share. So now you might be asking, well, why would you want to do this? Why would you agree to sell your shares of TSLY for $12 per share in the future when you literally bought the shares of TSLY for $13.50 per share? Well, let me go ahead and pull up a chart on why. This is exactly why right here. Historically, TSLY has continued to go down and lose value. So in theory, over the next month or so, if TSLY trades to $13.10, 
$13 per share or even $12.90 per share, let's say, you will still be in the profit. And of course, most importantly, you still own the shares, so you will still receive that nice, juicy monthly dividend. Now, of course, you can do this different ways and you can basically short the stock indirectly through options using cover calls as low as you want. You could even sell a $10 cover call and earn around $3.50 per share or $350 in premium for making this trade. Now, what does this mean? This now means that you bought your shares at TSLY for $13.50 per share, of course, which is right here. But because you're selling the cover call with the $10 strike price expiring May 17th of next year, now your true cost basis is what? It's $13.50, which is where you bought your shares, minus $3.50, which is how much premium you earned per share times 100. So now your true cost basis on TSLY is what? It's $10 per share. Now, don't get me wrong, this still means that you are willing to sell your shares of TSLY for $10 per share on or before the expiration date if and when the buyer of this option decides to do so. But within the next few months, if TSLY continues to trade down like it has for the most part, over the long term at least, if TSLY trades down to, say, $12 per share or even $11 per share, even if TSLY, let's say in three or four months, is down to $11 per share from $13.50, $11 per share is still $1 per share higher than your new cost basis. And of course, three or four months from now, if the shares don't get called away, you will of course be earning the dividends on a monthly basis. Now, the hard thing to know, of course, is how big are the dividends going to be? And that all depends on things like how Tesla trades within that monthly time frame. But if one thing's for certain, the dividends are going to be decent at least, because historically speaking, they've definitely been that and more. So what's awesome about buying more of a risky, in my opinion, covered call option income strategy ETF like TSLY and pretty much like any of the different yield max option income strategy ETFs is that you can use this exact strategy. And of course, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We don't know if TSLY is going to skyrocket or right here APLY, but at least how the market has been trading as of recently, a lot of these different covered call ETFs have been trading down and down quite a bit. So next you might be asking, well, that sounds pretty interesting. What is the actual risk here? So the actual risk, of course, is that if you sold a $10 strike price, Covered call with TSLY and you earned $350 in premium or $3.50 per share, of course. If TSLY within this time frame dips below, say, $10 per share, well, then, of course, you would start to be in the red because you bought your shares, let's say, at $13.50 per share. You sold the $10 call and you earned the $3.50 in premium. So your cost basis is $10. So if TSLY goes down to 9 or 8 or 7 you would then be basically at a loss from whatever the share price is at at that point from the $10 cost basis that you have. The other risk, of course, is that if your shares of TSLY get called away, if you buy shares of TSLY for $13.50, you sell the $10 cover call, you get your $3.50 in premium, which means you're basically one-to-one -one hedged up to $10 per share. Now, at this point, if TSLY goes to $14, $15, $16, $17 dollars per share, Within this given time frame, your shares are most likely going to get called away and you will get paid $10 per share. You already got paid the premium and you'll be basically leaving with exactly what you got. So the risk is that you basically lose nothing if TSLY rips. And the risk is that you lose whatever the cost basis is to the downside if TSLY drops down from there. But all in all, it seems like a pretty good strategy if you want to farm some massive dividends. And this is what I've been doing over the last month. It's worked pretty well for me. I bought TSLY at around $14 per share. It's dropped to $13.49. And I earned around $2.30 per share or $230 in premium. So that being said, if TSLY stays above, say, $11.75 or so, I'm still going to be in the green, and maybe most importantly, I'm still going to be earning these massive dividends on a monthly basis, which again, only time will tell how the dividends look, but so far, so good. So that right there is the exact strategy that I'm actually using as of right now when it comes to buying shares and honestly really trying to farm like risk-free or close to risk-free dividends in the meantime. So now that we went over my strategy and what it has to offer, with all the pros and all the cons, comment down below what you think about this strategy and if or if not, you would personally try something like this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.